Welcome or welcome back to the channel. Today is day 188 of playing chess every day until 2000 ELO. We're sitting at 1734. Let's find an opponent. So we find in 1810, we get the white pieces. E4, we see a Karo Khan. Oh, they play the advance. Okay, so we take. He goes there. We go F4. Best move. Night out. Here, we go here to preserve our pawn. I believe this is the move, trying to go here. I'm not 100% sure though, because this bishop is what holds this together. So if he plays knight here, I might play this, just to stop the knight from coming in. I've also seen f6 be played. If f6, we might just go pin him. We do need to be careful though, because there's this weak diagonal, so maybe not pinning. This bishop can't pin, but... Uh, you get the point. He's sacrificing? That's definitely not right. Can't I just play this? Okay, so I take, he takes, and then I play here. What's the move? What's the move? I have not seen this before. I mean, this is technically hanging. Takes 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 we could go here offering a trade we're up a piece he's not going to take the trade we need to protect that so if i play this and this falls so i think we take and then block with the queen if i block with the queen is there anything wrong with that can't take go here no he can't okay so he's threatening this pawn? I mean, why can't I play this move? Because of this. Here, here, here. I mean, this is a little bit funky. He could just take the pawn. Go here. He can't take. Here, here. I wouldn't want to step on the light squares, so probably this. And then where's he going? I play knight here, and that would actually trap his queen, so he can't... He can't play queen c1 check. If he takes, we're kind of happy. So I think he just wants to get a pawn. It's understandable, I guess. Play here. Yeah, I don't think that's a move. Uh, we go here. Oh, I guess he can take this with check. Is his point? Maybe? I guess he always has that move. We are threatening discoveries, so he needs to do something. He probably needs to take here. So he's going to get two pawns for the piece, essentially. I don't think it was really the best move on his part. Because after takes, takes, here, we just get to develop. I don't know if I want to go there. Where does my knight really want to go? I guess that's not bad. We go here, and we can try to jit get into this square. It should be very strong. So takes, takes, here, here. Uh, he might attack me. Then I can just go here, and then we're threatening a fork. Yeah, I like, I like this position. Interesting. So he just gets out of the way. But I can just go here. Ooh, but if I go here, I guess the knight comes in. Is this point? Okay, not so simple. Could go here forcing a trade yeah i don't think that's the move i think this is fine now he has to take take and then come here there it is takes takes hmm now we could attack or we could go here what's a little bit more important i think we we should just improve with tempo because this is hit and if he goes here then we have this so let's go ahead and play knight there and then we're threatening to hop here and here strong moves Knight goes, or bishop goes back. I mean, I'm honestly, I think I'm going to get the bishop out with tempo as well. Offer a trade. And if he takes, I go here. And then we get the knight where we want it. So we just get to improve with tempo is the point. Knight there. Makes sense. And I think before we do anything... I want to activate my rooks. He's threatening to go here. I could play this move to stop the knight from coming in. I think it's a good move. So let's play that. Restrict the knight's movement. He can go here. But I don't really think that's great. And then we need to really activate the rooks. Like rook here. Maybe something like this as well. Hmm. So he wants to isolate this pawn. What if I go here though? If I go here and he takes, then we can take back with the knight. And that's a pretty strong knight. He might push. 
Okay, we'll go here. So we got a knight here. He's gonna take now, maybe? No? Okay, it's time to activate our rook. So we got the open file here. He takes. We're gonna take with the knight. This is a move held by the knight, which would hit this. Also just blockades everything. We have checks here. These are covered. Let's check. He has to go here, which looks very ugly. Interesting move. I guess his point is he's stopping me from coming in. Let's go ahead and double up here. He can never move this pawn. Well, I guess he can because the knight covers the square, but... So he's creating a little bit of space for his king. Let's go ahead and double up. We're going to try and go here, maybe. King there. I don't think that's correct. Because now I can come in. We hit the rook. We hit the knight. Is there a better move? Yeah, I don't think so. We go here. He can't block because when I take, takes, takes, this is pinned. And he can't protect like this, so he has to go back. Or king there. Is that a move? What about this move? I go check. He can't come forward. Has to go back because he can't hold this square. And then we take the knight. And my opponent resigns. Beautiful. Beautiful stuff. Let's hop into a second game. All right, so we find another 1800, and we get the white pieces again. E4. Sicilian defense. Grand Prix, as per usual. <laughs> By the way, if we win this, we hit our peak. I'm happy with 1744. Even if we lose this, we're still sitting good. All right, so he's playing there. Now, I'm going to go for this. Some people like to go here. I usually play bishop to b5 and then just trade this. That's an inaccuracy, because I want to take anyways. And now we can just continue like usual. This pawn's very weak. So he protects it. Let's go ahead and castle. Plays a rook there. So my opponent's king's in the center of the board. What if I play here, here? Or maybe we just play queen here to line some stuff up. Uh, but maybe this comes... I'm not really afraid of that. I'll just play this. Mm. Let's go here. If he locks it down, I'm very happy. Yeah. So now this pawn's a target. So let's play... Let's play here. Can't go here for discoveries. Okay, apparently that's a move. What if I just go ahead and protect? Yeah, let's just protect the knight. So we're still hitting this. Bishop does not see here, so we need to be careful of stuff like that. He wants to protect the pawn. Let's go ahead and hit the queen. Is that a good move? Let's hit the queen. He goes there. I'm really tempted to play this. Let's go ahead and play it. Okay, we can't take here right now. I mean, I'm, al I'm already very happy about my position. I could go here, but then he's just going to go here. Then everything's locked down. And then maybe we can start attacking over here. Let's go here. We're putting pressure. He's going to play this. I'll go slide back. And then we'll see what happens. Where does my bishop want to be? Maybe right here. Let's put the bishop here so that when I play f5, because that is ultimately something that needs to happen. Okay, there is a hole here. Honestly, the center is so locked that I'm kind of thinking of playing this. And when he goes here, I go here. So I'm assuming he's going to do this. And then I think I can play g4. And then try to just bust everything open. We might have to tuck our king away. Uh, yeah, I mean, this loses a pawn, so... Oh, yeah, there is that. I don't know why I missed that. Okay, well, I guess we're going to lose the exchange. It's wonderful stuff. Good job. Can I play this, is the question. I don't really think so. Um, yeah. Maybe we just try to get in. I mean, like, we do have some threats here, potentially. The knight would really love to come here. Would it though? I go knight here. If takes, then we take back. We're kind of happy. His dark squares are very, very weak. But then I guess he goes queen here. 
I don't really want to open up that file. I honestly think we've already lost the game. I'm being totally honest with you. I don't know, maybe we just tuck our king nice and safely over here. Wait a minute. What about this move? And then there's just that. Bishop goes there. He's trying to... I don't know what he's trying to do. I don't know. Let's play knight here. If takes, we take. We open up this. I'd be very happy to see. Of course, he does not do that. Now we can go here. We have double pressure. We have access to, to this square, which is nice. I'm not really so sure I want to take that pawn, if I'm being totally honest. Just move the king up. Okay, he's going to walk his king that way because he wants to push these pawns, which is smart. Could go check. Does that accomplish anything? He goes here. I guess if I went check and he goes here, we go check, takes, takes. We can infiltrate with our bishop and then just have a little bit of a clamp, maybe. I think that's an idea. Not so sure if it's a good one, but... It's an idea. And then the king can never move, so he might have to sack the exchange for it. Okay, so he wants to break that open. I'm not going to allow that. Why would I do that? Let's go here. So this is a weak point. Bishop back, really. Question is, do I want to do this? I mean, it does give the square. I'm assuming that's what he wants to do, is go king here. Maybe we'll just play queen up. To attack this, if he plays here, and we can always just go here, and we can always just go here. Protect the pawn. Yeah, I think he's gonna sack, sack the exchange here. Do I have this? No, he just takes. Maybe we can go here, and then we can try to fork the rook and pawn, potentially. Just itch the queen closer and closer. I imagine he's going to sack the rook. He can't allow me to do this. Otherwise, he's going to get forked. Has to take with the queen. Otherwise, we have this, which would pick up a rook if he took with the king. Okay, so he sacks the exchange. King takes is a blunder. And if he takes with the queen, we take this pawn with check. He moves the rook first. Wow. Do I have a queen sack? I think I can sack the queen here. If he takes, then we promote with a queen. So we can't actually take. Oh my gosh, can we do this? We can sack the queen. And we, we only get a pawn, but surely, right? Let's take. We're going to sack the queen. Okay, he doesn't take. Now there's a discovered attack. But now we can go check. And he's forced to take. Oh my gosh. This is actually crazy. He has to take. And he loses the game. With the queen sack. Oh my gosh, that's... Brilliant, a beautiful game. All right, so let's take a look at those two games there. We actually just hit our peak. We're sitting at 1754. So the first game we played with an 89.3 versus his 73.6. Carl um, Kahn, everything was good. Like We know it's theory here. And then, yeah, we knew this was just a blunder because we take, and then we have B4. He takes, we take. This is not the right way to go about it. So apparently we're supposed to queen here. Why? Mm, interesting. Anyways, we do that. He goes there, which is a mistake, because we have that move forcing a queen. Oh, did we not have to take? We can go check. Only move. Bishop here. If he goes here, it's mate in five. Queen d6, check. King here. Oh, we even have rook here, skewer. Oh my gosh, that's bad. Okay, so how did we found this? What about here? Yeah, I mean, obviously he followed up with this. And he's supposed to give up the queen. That is the best continuation. But we just trade. So I guess we didn't really consider this check. We considered... Uh, did we consider any checks here? I think we considered checks right here. I think we considered going here. Which is not a good move, because he has this. Anyways, um, this is how it goes. We trade down into, you know, a crushing position. You know, we, we just had really good placement for our pieces. We're only up, like, one pawn, but just the way that uh, our pieces are coordinated, 
And then he just resigns after that because he's got to go back and then we take. So we had a performance ELO of 2200 versus 1650. Now let's take a look at that second game. I'm very interested, to be honest, because I do think that we screwed up. Uh, no. <laughs> we had the advantage basically the whole game. So this is the first mistake, which I mentioned during the game, because we want to take anyways, and it's already plus one, or plus 0.8 for white. Now we continue as normal. Queen here is not the best. Stop the bishop from coming in. Yeah, fair. This is a mistake, because we can push. Now, I wasn't too sure about this move, but I figured, you know, he's just in the center of the board. Can open up these files. I don't know about this. But yeah, we get that. He pushes, so it locks everything down. And now this bishop is doing nothing. We go here to protect the, the knight, obviously. And then he reroutes his bishop to protect here. Good move. And then we just proceed. It's very locked. We had to play this move to stop this. But then we do, uh, we do make a mistake. Still winning for white, apparently. Even though black is up two points of material. I didn't really know what to do here, so I moved my king. But apparently the bishop just go back, probably target this pawn. Kind of silly. And then we go knight there, and then we get our knight onto that square. He has to protect the pawn. It's a big mistake here. I go check. He goes there. And we come in, we force this trade. And we're just being annoying. We have a bishop and a knight, or a bishop and a pawn just chilling in his area. I knew he was going to have to sack the exchange back. He goes there. We we sack the queen, which is is apparently an inaccuracy. But I mean, come on. I ha I had to do it, right? We only, I mean, we, we just trade the pawn. This pawn's going to be very hard to hold on to. So that was kind of the idea. Uh, apparently the best move is just go here. Try to hold on to the pawn. But I'm pretty sure he can just do this, right? Uh, apparently we have queen g7. He has to protect b4. I don't know. I like I like how I did it. I like the queen sack. Stockfish doesn't really like it, but uh, it's fine. And then he goes here. Big blunder because of this move. He has to give up the queen because the king has no legal squares as the pawn and queen hold everything together. And it's even worse than that. King here, I promote. I don't even know what else he can do. That's just mate in one. Like, what can you do here? Apparently bishop here. Queen here. And we'll just simplify. So, yeah. What a great, what a great, great day. If you enjoyed the video, please consider leaving a like, commenting, subscribing, and I will see you tomorrow.